This one has a J okay. on it. Okay. J for Jimmy. Jimmy. Chapati. J for Jimmy. <laughs> I'm just doing what he does. She's fucking cool to him. In my opinion, it's good. I don't know what I'm really texting for. See, that's why I gotta take the classes. I take the classes and I can come work for you. Yeah. Come work for you and then I'll get all the free wine. <laughs> if you have been an NBA fan for quite some time and been immersed in the NBA culture, you should have noticed that NBA players have a weird obsession with the alcoholic beverage typically referred to as wine. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Just need some food and some, some wine. I'll be all right. <laughs> for me personally, I've been following the NBA seriously for about 10 years and this wine thing has only been a thing for about maybe like seven. I was curious why this trend started, so after many hours of research that included reading this long NBA fanfic article that was a waste of my time, I think I figured out why NBA players love wine. Channing, say something about this uh, Dwayne Wade wine. Uh, has wonderful notes of almonds, <laughs> maybe some, uh, some delicious... <laughs> Current NBA players came from a variety of backgrounds, but a large percentage of them grew up in middle or low class socioeconomic areas. Places like the inner city and the countryside aren't known to be wine drinking areas, so it's obvious that NBA obsession with wine doesn't come from childhood. Wine culture is typically associated with the wealthy old money people because they have the time and money to become wine nerds. NBA players are new money. They get rich quickly, gamble, buy designer clothes, and drink Hennessy cognac. Then, a few years later, after they retire from basketball, you hear about how they are declaring bankruptcy because they can't afford to pay child support to all their baby mamas. Hey, uh, Richard, say something about this 3 by Wade wine. Um, wait, what year is this? Wait, is this that year? Oh, it's 2014, California Red... Oh. <laughs> Luckily, times are changing in the NBA, and many of the players are becoming more responsible and financially literate, and with that comes the interest of the rich and wealthy. Over the last couple of decades, a few NBA players became interested in wine because they are rich people, and rich people do that. The teams that they play for often have team dinners to create team chemistry and bonding. Wine oftentimes can be paired with high-end food where many team dinners are at so it is natural for those interested in wine to start bringing it to these gatherings. Over time, more players started to get interested in wine and got their younger teammates into it as well. Got into wine last year as a rookie. Had a lot of veteran teammates and on road trips, we would go out to eat. They would always get wine, so I was kind of like forced to drink it and I kind of really got the taste for it. Sometimes the wives or girlfriends of these players got them interested in wine. My fiance actually introduced me to wine seven years ago in college. Uh, I didn't drink it, I only drank other things. And uh, I, I, it kind of grew on me. I figured out what I like, learned more about grapes, learned more about different weather and, and how that affects the taste. Now I have a 600 bottle cellar. Okay, but that doesn't answer why wine became such a league-wide obsession. Instead of beers and hard liquors being on team planes, it is now almost exclusively wine. This change is because of health and conditioning. In this day and age, NBA players are some of the most paid athletes in the world and are expected to perform at the highest level every single day. They can't get out of shape or get sick because they bring in the money. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! So they're expected to be at perfect health throughout the season, which is hard when they're just normal people who want to relax once in a while when not at work. Years ago, NBA players did this by drinking beers and hard liquors. This worked for some, like Michael Jordan, but not many players. Beer is high in calories and needs to be drank a lot to fuel intoxication, which made it difficult for some players to maintain their conditioning throughout the season. Hard liquors oftentimes cause next day hangovers and is evident in the play of the players. Wine is the perfect solution for current day NBA players to have fun without having serious impact on their careers. It doesn't cause as many hangovers as hard liquor, and not a lot of it needs to be consumed to feel intoxicated like beer does. 
This, coupled with research that shows it's good for the cardiovascular system and heart, has propelled wine into the NBA's favorite alcoholic beverage. Pretty much drink wine every single day. It's healthy for you. They say a glass is good, but sometimes I go to two. Two glasses because you're taller, right? So. That's what I'm saying. Like that's for like somebody that's five seven, I'm six nine. So. So basically, NBA players are obsessed with wine because they are rich, and rich people do things like buy art that in reality is worthless and drink moldy grape juice because other rich people say that's what you're supposed to do. They're also obsessed with wine because they want to get drunk but not be an absolute L on the court the next day. Most players never understood wine until the banana boat crew became interested in it. They made drinking wine popular and educated their teammates and other players over the years. JJ Redick also talks excessively about his love for wine on his podcast, which further brought it into the mainstream. Many current and former NBA players even have their own wine brands. Hey Tristan, say something about this uh, uh, great Wade wine we're having. That's great, man. Yeah, so hopefully this video explained to you why your favorite player is now a wine nerd that says they taste hints of manure in their grape juice. But anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you click on one of these two videos on screen here, like this one, and subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching. Peace out.